Alright guys, so we are loading up Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, and today I'm going to show you uh, essentially a fusion team that you can technically run uh, if you do not have the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta leader. I'm underneath the category section of dbz.space. Uh, I was got a little bit ahead of myself yesterday. I didn't do as much research as, as I usually do. Uh, there is only one leader so far in the category, and it is Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. This Vegito is, yes I'm aware, he is does not get the buff from the actual Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta uh, as a leader because he is a Patara fusion. Now the reason why I said that is because specifically, if you see here on my phone, um, literally all of the best fusions are Super Saiyans and they're good units, like hero units. So because they're super, they're going to get the buff from Super Saiyan Vegito or Super Vegito Blue and they're going to get the buff from Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Now, with that being said, the base stats of these characters are uh, HP, attack, and defense plus 200% when factoring in both leader abilities, and key plus 3. Now, mine is not Dokken Awaken because I just need one more dupe before he is 100% it. So, I'm not the type of person to constantly go back and forth duping, unduping, because it's just a waste of time for me to go into the quest mode and grind out more gems in order to reverse Dokken Awaken him. That's not why I'm not doing it. It's a pain in the butt. <laughs> So, um, I'm running a team, not max, but I think it's, what, 40% HP attack and defense plus 40%? Yeah. So, it's not horrible. He's only lacking 10% across the board. So, we're going to go ahead and take on the OG uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks event, because I want some more to get my uh, uh, my Super Saiyan, my strength Super Saiyan Gotenks up to Super Attack 10. So, we're going to go ahead and take that on with this team that I'm talking about right now. I don't know how well I'm going to do. I should be able to do fine, because you're able to take it on with a 70% lead. And going up against it with this kind of lead uh, will definitely make it a little bit easier because I have better stat buffs. So with the unparalleled Paragon of Hope Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks transcend the UR limit. Now I'm probably going to do something similar with the Omega Shenron team uh, with a, uh, what do you call a, uh, an extreme leader. So we'll see how that works. I need to look at the teams to see how I can get that in Terra. So he is a really good unit. We're going to take him. Now just to note before we start... Uh, well, we're going to get rid of that Puar, and we are going to go ahead and take a King, uh, not King, an Ox. Something to note, I have Super Vegito on my team as well. He is another Patara fusion. Now, he is not going to get the buffs from Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Now, the reasoning why I think that these two are still viable on this team, one, they're getting the buffs from Vegito Blue, which is good. He, they're getting still getting the HP attack and defense plus 40% because that's what mine is a key plus two. But they're also linking together. They do share some link skills, which is very you know useful. Uh, they're not going to be hitting off like uh, major links. They're not going to do massive amounts of damage, but they both reduce damage taken and they both counter attack. So that's definitely going to help out with their damage output, with their overall damage output. Um, so that's definitely something to take into consideration. Uh, on top of that, if you notice, I also have my seal tanks here. And my seal tanks is specifically brought because of the fact that uh, the other two, Vegito Blue and Super Vegito, will be countering because Gotenks can't run his super attacks. Now, in terms of the uh, shared link skills, because I'm going to be keeping Vegito Blue and Super Vegito together, uh, their link skills are Super Saiyan for 10%, uh, Prepare for Battle, which is key plus two, Power Bestowed by God, which is a flat out boost of 2500. I really don't, not care, don't, don't care too much about that. Um, super excited, I'm sorry, I'm on the JP side, super excited, attack plus 15% up, which I don't know what that is. Um, oh no, that's Super Fierce Battle, they don't share that because mine's not Dokken Awaken. And Union Warrior, which is Fused Fighter. So they are giving each other a, uh, a nice buff, they're giving each other 4 key total, and attack plus 10%, and a flat out boost of 2500. So they're not going to be doing that bad, plus they're getting the 2 key from the beginning, so they're starting out with 6 key as it is. Anyway, um, with that being said, we're going right. to jump on into Let's the event. Let's do this. I just did want to state and be a little bit more elaborate on what I was talking about when it comes to running this kind of a team. Again, it's not the, going to be the best team, but you know what? If you don't have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, let's say you're new and you have a Super Vegito Blue or newer and you have Super Vegito Blue, this is a very viable team that you can run. And I mean, especially against the older Dokkan events, if you're trying to, uh, you know, I should have actually done one so that way more teams didn't give it to whoever. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's definitely a good option for you if you are a newer player, if you're lacking some of the leaders. Um, again, it's not going to be optimal. You know, obviously you're going to want to have a little bit perfect. Uh, Super Vegito got the key that I wanted to get. All I have left now, well, I was hoping Vegito Blue would have gotten some, but 
can only win so much, right? Now, that's, again, not optimal. As I was saying before, I would prefer to have a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, but I don't, and I'm not really, like, I don't need that team. I'm also, like, I think I have everyone that I really want. I also have the fusion categories up in my machine right now on my computer. Um, the only one that I could possibly say that I want is Pandel, because, and Weiris. Pandel and Weiris, that's actually funny, because Pandel, I didn't pull her on the last one. I really want her. Uh, and Weiris is good for this round, but because it was the only two that I don't have that I want, I'm not going to pull on the current selection. Anyway, um, so we are going to put Gogeta or Vegito at the end. Gogeta is going to be there. We're going to use my Gotenks to attack Goten. Then we're going to use Gogeta to attack Trunks. They should be able to one shot, which is awesome. And as you see, I mean, Vegito isn't getting the, the best buffs, but he's super attacking because of those wind skills, which is awesome. You know what I mean? Uh, on top of that, once my Fizz tanks, the Seal tanks, gets onto rotation with the Super Saiyan 3 Go tanks, which are very good linking buddies, by the way, uh, then the uh, Go tanks will always be sealed, and um, the Vegitos will be able to counter all the time. I'm actually getting this open now. I know I do not have my Seal tanks Doken awakened yet. I'm sorry. I know uh, I'm ba bad Doken on YouTuber. <laughs> now the reason why I don't have him Doken awakened is I want some more dupes. I don't again. I don't believe in reverse Doken awakening if you don't have to. If you know you're going to be getting a card, so I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, I'm actually bringing up on Doken Battle Builder right now the, uh, the the cards. So sorry about the uh, the weight that you probably see. All right, so this is what we want to do. We don't. Have, he won't be getting off a of super attack right now. Trying to You know what? We're going to do this because we want him to get off a of super attack, and we want to be able to seal go tanks. As long as he doesn't seal me, <laughs> All right, so that's that. That's that, and that's that. So make sure I'm good. And as I want to be able to bring the wing skills while I'm playing, that's why I'm on my computer looking up the actual wing skills right now. So it's fun. All right, now Seal Tanks and Go Tanks share the Innocence, Super Saiyan, and uh, Fused Fighter. So that's 20% key buff, or sorry, 20% attack buff, and plus two. So that's awesome. So uh, I'm pretty much in a good position right now with these guys. You know what? I probably should have thrown Seal Tanks at the end, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, uh, the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is a really good unit to have, by the way. Uh, he's not bad by any means. He just, he just lacks some, uh, essentially some uh, attack buffs, which really sucks. Damn, I might actually get to the point of this defeating Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks before I even get to show off what I want to show off. I do have the Super Saiyan Coroli over here. He is not really that great of a unit, but I have him nonetheless. And the reason why I have him is because, A, he is a fused fighter. He gets some good stat buffs over here. He has horrible defense, actually, which that, that really pisses me off. He has such bad defense, but uh, I can't really do anything about that. We're going to go over here. We're going to get some Super, uh, Super Gogeta action. Attack plus 100%. We're going to go over here with this guy with Go Tanks, and then we are going to get a super attack with Coroli. Uh, wow, you know what's actually funny? Going back to this event, I used to struggle with this event. You could change like four times before you were able, able to defeat him. And nowadays, you just kind of go into it, and you're just like, hey, look at you. You're almost dead. At least with the LR going on, which is a lot of fun, by the way. <laughs> I really like taking my LR going on on this event and just like nuking him. Uh, anyway. You know, Coroli goes. Gigantic Spirit Bomb, which is freaking awesome. You figured it would do more damage, though. Ooh, ooh, no, he's attacking. Super Ghost Mummy Cosmic Attack, that's horrible. 66,000, that's not a lot of damage, comparatively. Uh, we're gonna go on the end over here. Because, remember, the Super Vegito got an actual buff, so it's not that big of a deal. He should be fine, just in case he gets super. We're gonna go ahead and heal with the Sense of Bean. I have like a thousand of them, I don't need to worry about conserving them. Alright, there's that, there's that, and there's that, which I would prefer to go to the physical, but there's nothing I can do about that. But that would essentially be my ideal setup. I would want my seal tanks to be with my go tanks, and then these two are going to be together all the time. Now you see this attack, and then honestly, he's not doing horrible damage. I mean, he's not doing the best damage, but uh, 233 and then 52 on um, counters. Yes, he can do a hell of a lot more when he actually has proper something wrong. But you're also thinking based off of actual meta of uh, 120. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know what? This isn't a bad setup. They get counters, they get debuffs. You're not going to get attacked as off. Or when you get attacked, you're not going to take a lot of damage because of that. And because they're countering, you're still doing enough damage to actually warrant them being on your team. But you know, that's just my opinion on it, guys. I don't. You know, I'm not trying to sit here and tell you that this is an optimal team. This is just something that you run if you don't have Super Saiyan 4. 
Anyway, regardless of that, let's see what we can get up over here. We can't get any of that that I want, so we're gonna go and get this. Cheeto would have prefer to have an uh, actual scene type scene. We're not gonna be able to get a dope on it. Um, <laughs> a, a dope on to go off. A dope, a dope on meter, but whatever. Uh, the go tanks is hitting really nice. 700,000 um, with crit 540. Keep up. He got a super attack. Awesome. By the way, he super attacks. You get a double uh, additional attack. It only does the ninth. Definitely sucks. Um, here we go. Super Gogeta with the Soul Punisher. And he crits for 479,000. Freaking awesome. I got my seven key, and we are all set. So, um, that's the event, guys, by the way. You know, that's, it's a pretty nice team. Again, I also was missing the 10% of staff buff around the clock. Um, or around for all of them because of the Super Vegito Blue is not Doken Awaken. And I lacked one key because of that as well. But this is a good team that you could run. It's very viable on, like, the, the new meta, the newer meta Doken events. And the, definitely the old meta Doken events. You could one-shot a lot of these units. Um, overall, I'm not going to recommend running this team as primary if you have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. But if you want to get in the hype or utilize the card, this is a good team that you can run. Now, it's a little bit different than me just building the team for you on DokkanBattleBuilder.com. I want to bring you some gameplay as well. But anyway, guys, that's that. Uh, stay tuned. At some point, I will be releasing a Shadow Dragon event or Shadow Dragon uh, team. Probably taking on the same exact event. I just got to figure out who I could run because I could run Rosé. But then I get stuck with only using the actual Shadow Dragons, and some of them suck. Anyway, I'll figure that out. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.